Being another offensively a game of almost. Yeah, pretty much. Um, a frustrating game, I felt. You know, thought both teams looked a little bit rusty at times. I thought it was an untidy game. I thought we built up well. We've had some good opportunities. Um, we know they're a transitional team, and sometimes we just didn't quite defend the transitions well enough, as the goal showed. Um, you know, we lost the ball at the top of the area, but we still got four v three behind. Double movement has took Yere inside, and it's one that we really should stop at source. So, disappointing about the goal. Yeah, and as untidy goes, the team had difficulty maintaining possession of the offensive third. Going up through that, did you see? Did you see anything that you liked about tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, there was too many unforced errors. That was the biggest thing. We built up really well against the pressing team and got through their press well enough at times. Um, but it, again, it was just the connection. Um, you know, Callis took a great ball, threw a great throw through to Liel, and we've got a two v one there. Where, you know, that's Red Bull's game. They probably go and score from there, and that's what we should be doing in them situations. And you know, uh, we need you need the players to have a little bit better quality. Um, you know, Pep's come on and I thought he looked really bright on the ball. Um, he'll feel he should have scored with the header, um, but he's got you can see his technical ability when he when he gets the ball and he'll he'll get better. Yeah, I guess just adding on to that, what do you make of Pep and Tim Wings? I thought Tim Tim was steady. Um, you know, you can see his confidence and calm on the ball. Um, a good talker. I thought he had a steady game. I thought both centre halves were, you know, have, you have to be good against a team that's strong on a transition. I thought both of them did really well. Um, you know, Pe Pep. I, as I say, I th he's had a good pre-season with Olympiacos, so I knew he would be able to get 30, 30 minutes. I mean, I just didn't expect him to get his visa through, to be honest. So he's not done much work with us. Um, he's been in Canada going and getting his visa. I thought both teams did. That's how it looked to me, um, you know. But I think a draw was a fair result. Um, I didn't think we did enough to win it, and I don't think that they, they didn't deserve to win it either. And does it feel maybe like a missed opportunity given that you know Red Bulls are four points ahead of you guys? It does. It does. But you've got to show the quality on the night. You can't make as many un unforced errors in the final third, you know, and expect to win the game. So. That's on us, and we have to take that on the chin. And uh, but we're four games un unbeaten, um, you know. So that's a positive moving forward, and uh, we'll look forward to Atlanta there next week. Yeah. It looked like, as you said about Pep, he does like to move the ball forward. You know, every time he touched the Yeah, and he, he looks to play forward as well. You know, he's he's come on only for what thirty minutes. I think he's had a header. He's had a couple of shots as well, and he's looking to always play that killer ball as well. So. Is, is, is what we need at, the, at this moment in time. I think he'll be a good one to connect us. I thought Brand Bronico was really good tonight as well. Um, you know, he connected us at times. Um, I just felt, you know, we, we it broke down a little bit too easy today. A lot of, like Bronico, especially some direct balls, just straight up. Yeah, no, he, he was good on the ball. The opposite pocket was always on for us. Um, it's something that we spoke about in our build up. You know, if we um, got it out to the full back and come back into the six, then the opposite eight would be on. And um, we probably didn't find that ball well enough in the second half. Um, you know, that could have given real trouble. Uh, considering the time that you had uh, and the result today, <laughs> is there a, a time frame that you would like to be able to see everything sharper before the next match or the next couple of matches? Yeah, I want them to be sharper. Um, you know, they've worked really hard the last three and a half weeks. They've had some rest when they've needed it. Um, you know, so they'll be good. They'll be good. Um, you know, today we just wasn't one of them games uh, for both teams. But, you know, I, I don't worry about the players, um, you know, fitness wise, they're, they're a really strong group. Um, and I think, as I said in the week, as this season goes on there, we'll get better. Um, you know, and the challenge for them now is to keep this unbeaten run going to the end of the season. Um, and I'll be, I believe we can go and do that. And with the new folks that you brought in, uh, how quickly do you think they'll be able to in terms of game situations? With all the players that I brought in, um, I feel are quality players. Um, we've saw snippets already of Pep today. 
Um, you know, and we've we've seen Tim. You know, and uh, we'll get Jamie Patterson once his once his visa's done, and they'll, they'll be ready. They'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and that's what I want. I want strength from the bench to come and try and change a game. Um, you know, would have liked to try and get them on a little bit earlier, uh, but there's a lot of stoppages. Um, and then when you're wanting to bring them on the board and go out of play, always defending a corner. I don't like to change when we're defending corners. Um, so they'll, they'll go and get a rest and then uh, tomorrow and then, you know, start preparing again for Atlanta.